A fringe right wing Hindu organization named the Hindu Jagran Vedike now objects to the teaching of the Bible in Clarence High School, Bangalore. The activists went near the school and then went back as the section 144 was clamped in view of the ongoing PU examinations. PU is pre-university examinations. They told the media that they would meet the education minister and complain against it. The background of this story is that the school is in fact a Christian missionary school, one of the premier schools of Bangalore. On the application form, it is written that the Bible will be taught to all as it's ha it has been the practice in the school since its inception. Let's listen in to what the principal and the member from that group has had to say. We are aware that some people in society are upset about one of the policies of our school. Uh, we are a peace-loving and law-abiding school. We have consulted with our advocates in this matter and we will follow their advice in keeping with the law of the land. We will not break the law of the land. That is our affirmation. For 100 years we are here and we will continue to be a society building school. We are not, I am not commenting, I am not commenting on any question. Let our advisors tell us and we will issue, we will issue a press statement. We are, I am sorry, no comment on that part. से वो कानूनन होता है ऐसे तो नहीं है और इसके लिए भारत का स्कूल या भारत का कोई भी एजुकेशन सिस्टम वो संविधान के आधार पर चलना चाहिए और भारत के एजुकेशन एक्ट के अनुसार चलना चाहिए यहां पर आप किसी बच्चे को कह रहे कि नहीं आपको बाइबल पढ़ने के लिए मिलेगा या बाइबल आप पढ़ना है तो फिर वहां पर जो एडमिशन दे रहे हैं वो अन्य धर्मीय बच्चों को क्यों दे रहे हैं आपका ईसाई स्कूल है वो ईसाइयों के है तो ईसाइयों के लिए रखिए तो ये छोटे बच्चों के मन को प्रभावित करके उनको कन्वर्जन के जाल में लाने के लिए जो प्रयास चल रहा है इसके लिए हमारा यहाँ पर इसका विरोध है जैसे हिजाब के बारे में यहाँ पर बात हुई तो आप आपका धर्म जो है वो स्कूल में नहीं लाना चाहिए स्कूल जो है वो एजुकेशन के लिए है I'm joined by my colleague Nehal at the moment for more on this story from Bangalore. Nehal, thanks for joining us on this story. What is the issue really? Let's begin with that. See, some fringe uh, right-wing Hindu organizations have recently been attacking several organizations and several uh, other setups. As uh, you are aware that recently they had uh, the same organization had called for the boycott of Halal Meet, but the people of Karnataka defeated this call. They stood together and there was no boycott of Halal Meet. Now they have come out with this idea of boycotting, uh, of raising questions on the school that has been uh, functioning here for the last uh, over 110 years. And in the uh, application form, if you go through the form, I have a copy of that. It is clearly written that this school expressed uh, good values among children so that they could build the nation, they could build India, but they do it through the, the teachings of Bible and Bible is mandatory. They have also made it clear in the application form that those parents as well as children who are who don't agree for this, they should not apply. It is very clearly written. It is one of the prestigious schools of uh, this city. But now this issue has come up. They wanted to go to the school, but uh, Section 144 is clamped over there because the PU exams are going on. That's why they return back. The thing is that recently, after the change of leadership here in Karnataka, when Yadurappa was sacked and uh, Baswara Gomai had taken over, since then, there have been, it is alleged, that several power centers are there. Officials are not in a position to take a firm decision that in which direction they have to go. That is why right. such elements like uh, Hindu Jagriti, Jan Jagriti, Vediki, or Shri Ram Sene, they have again bounced back. You must recall that almost uh, 10, 12 years back, when a pub was attacked in Mangalore at that time, Yadropa had taken a firm stand and all these organizations were uh, grip over, all these organizations were tightened. And Nihal, they, they, Nihal yeah. if, if, if I can just interrupt to also ask you that this is uh, not the first such uh, communal uh, tension uh, in, in Karnataka, a series of communal tensions in the state ahead of, of elections. Yeah, this is how it is being connected with that. And even the BJP leadership has to take a call on this because police officers 
even the other administrative civil uh, administrative officers they are unable to take a decision because of what i told you earlier there are several power centers see when the um, uh, mangalore pub was attacked way back in 2008 2009 the, the then chief minister yadropa had taken a firm stand and after that such fringe elements were kept aside and the grief was tightened and they were all silent but now because they see a space for them to come up and that is why they are taking advantage of this vacuum that is created after the exit of yadurappa because basvaraj bomai is unable to take control of the situation his is his control over the administrative setup it seems is not so strong as it it used to be uh, under the rule of right. yadurappa that is why okay. some organizations come right. out they made some statements they right i'm i'm uh, nihal thank you very much